Good morning. Back in September, I showed how to create a correlation matrix using Excel. And I got some overwhelmingly good responses from that, and I thank you for that. One response in particular from one of my Twitter buddies, underscore Nathaniel T, showed how to do the same thing using Google Docs. And there are some strengths and some weaknesses to using Google Docs, the overriding strength being its ease of use, and it's, it's actually a great time saver. So today I just want to go through it real quickly and show you the strength and weakness of it. So first you have to have your own Google Drive, and that's free, and you can go to drive.google.com, set it up, and you should be good to go. So that's where we're at here. We're in my Google Drive. To create a spreadsheet, or a Google Docs spreadsheet, you click on the Create, and you come down and click on Spreadsheet. And this should look pretty familiar. It looks like an Excel spreadsheet. And you go up to your Untitled, and we're going to title this. We'll call this Correlation Test for today. And now we're going to create the spreadsheet. So we're using two different underlines. I'm going to use ExxonMobil. And I'm going to choose cell A1 for that. And in C1, I'll skip a space or a column here and you'll see why. I'm going to put Chevron. So we're going to do the correlation between ExxonMobil and Chevron to start with. So now I've got some headings I need in here. I'm going to put um, end date, start date. Just clean up this capital A. Okay, and underneath it, the end date is going to be today, because this is going to be a rolling time frame. This is going to, every day you open it, it's going to use today's date, and we'll go back as far as we want. So to do that, you just do equal today, open paren, close parens, and hit enter. It gives you today's date. And we want to go back for this, pur our purposes, we're going to do a three-year, a one-year, a six-month, and a three-month correlation. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to say equal that, today's date. And let's subtract 365 days in a year times 3, so that many days, and that's going to give us 3 years ago. Now this entire block, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to make one of those for Chevron. And now I've got my heading set up. And this is now where Google Docs gets really interesting. When I did my Excel, I did it using um, Yahoo Finance data. Using a Google Doc, you have to use Google Finance. And here's the, a cool function. So I'm going to do equal Google Finance. And you can see it sets up here for the proper formatting. And I'm going to do A1 as my symbol, comma. I want the closing price, and I have to put that in quotes, comma. Start date, comma. End date comma, and I apologize for this, I don't know what the attribute 1 is, but I need 1 in quotes, and I hit enter, and now watch this. What it does is it sets up three years of data from the first day after my start date, first trading day, all the way to the end date, which if we roll down here, you'll see is 759, and it gives me data going all the way up till last night's close. So I'm going to do the same thing over here for this one. And this is going to be C1, comma, quotes, close, and comma, quote, comma, start date, comma, end date, comma, in quotes, the number one. And now I've got all my data. And if you again scroll down to the bottom, You'll see that the dates are aligned all the way down to cell 759 with last night's close. So now we're going to set up the correlations. We can do this wherever we choose to. We're going to put correlation. Let's do three year, one year, six months. And yeah, we'll skip three months for now, but we can you can do that on your own. So to do a correlation, it's just like it is in Excel, equals. C-O-R-R-E-L, open paren, and in this case we're starting at B5, B5 colon B759, comma, D5 colon D759, and that gives us our entire three years of data, and there's our correlation. 
to do one year of data, we're going to go down and we're going to find, we see that 1126 was the, the last date here that we have. So we want to see that in 2012. So we scroll back up and we see that that was at 506. And the six month actually we're going to use, I already looked this up, it was 631. So we're going to go back up to the top here. To do the one year, we're going to do equal C-O-R-R-E-L, open parentheses, and it's B506 to B759, comma, D506, colon, D759. And there's my one year, my six months, equal C-O-R-R-E-L, open parentheses, and it's going to be B694. Oh, I'm sorry, 631, colon, B759, comma, D631, colon, D759, and, oh, and what did I do? Oh, I've got an extra parenthesis here. It's nice enough to tell me that. And now I've got my correlation matrices. So this is the correlation matrix. Now, why is this better than Excel? Well, let's take a look at this. In this one, instead of having to re-pull my data every time, let's say I want to do two different symbols. Let's say I want to do Apple versus Google. All I have to do is type in Apple. It goes out and gets that data. Google goes out and gets that data. And there are my correlations. So instead of having to re-pull data every time, all I have to do is type in symbols. I guess I should make this consistent. Type in symbols and it does my correlations for me on the fly. Now one of the weaknesses of Google Docs is that the data doesn't always seem to be to stay in sync. And so I've got some symbols. Let's check these. These do fine. Um, so here is FXY the yen against TLT, which is the 30-year bond ETF, or 20-year plus. And you'll see down at the bottom here that at some point, these get out of sync. So you have to be careful with Google Finance. It doesn't have, its data is not quite as clean as um, Yahoo Finances. So for most names, you'll find that this works well. And for a few, you'll find that it doesn't. But for the most part, it works well, it's quick, it's easy, and now I, I, it's automatically saved for me. All changes are saved in my drive. It tells you that, every change you make. So this is there, and I can use this going forward. So thank you again to underscore Nathaniel T for um, introducing this concept to me and this, this uh, technique of doing correlations. If you have any questions, you can email me, as always, at al at alonoptions.com.